So hey guys, tonight we have kind of a different one, as I like both of these. So we're going to do a little comparison about what's different about each one, and why I like one a little more than the other, possibly, and which one you might like. At least show you a few features, and you can make your own decision there as to which one would fit your needs the best. Okay, so as a lot of you guys know, for a long time, I've been using the Vera, Vera, as I like to say, 825-1RA, and this is the ratcheting version. It has quite a good tooth count. It's really nice and high. You, you have barely any handle movement. Right there is how much I'm doing to get a click. Okay, so to compare those two just immediately, this is the PB Swiss. Now, the main differences I can say in the two is this, the PB Swiss has a lot more firm feel to the ratchet system than the Vera. Now, going into this video, understand that I'm a huge Vera fan and I've been using this driver for years. But I picked this one up recently, the PB Swiss PB6510R100. This is the R100 with the extra 100 millimeter blade here, so that it's very, very comparable to the Vera. Now, the Vera is just a little bit shorter by, oh, maybe three-eighths of an inch or so without the bit there. But on this one, you have a little bit, if you can see this, you have a little bit of play here in the blade. Where on your PB, there, there's, there's just not. It, it's a solid lockup. Uh, I don't know. You may have to use it quite a while to get it to do that. I don't know if it ever even would. But I've been using this as my primary driver now for ever since I got it. So you guys can go back as far as where the unboxing of this was. And I had had it for a little while before the video actually came out. So I threw this in my pocket. It's been my go-to for everything, no matter how nasty this thing has been in everything. I don't have any mercy on my tools, really, no matter the brand. They either perform or they don't. So that ratchet, is just, it's a real, real fine sound on the Vera, and it works fine. I will say I have never broken this thing, so there is nothing wrong with this. As well as you have this the splined grip here where you could actually you know put a wrench on this blade if you needed to and then it has the little bit holder here on the tip the pb swiss is a straight holder all the way down and originally i thought oh this is this is quite a bit thinner through here that may offer some benefit but you know when you take the bits out of these there's another thing to notice right there and you put these two together i mean they are if not identical, the PB Swiss is just a hair thinner at the end than, than the Vera. So with that kind of being borne in mind, I haven't had any issue with this thing getting into anything. They both have forward reverse. This has, you know, your L and R and a zero in the middle, which is just, you know, if you flip it to zero, then you're just locked solid. And it operates just like a, just like a straight driver. And then you can flip it to ratchet for driving or re uh, releasing. On the PB Swiss, you have arrows here, here, and then a square black in the center. That's the same exact thing you set up, just like that. But just a really solid action on this. The ratchet, I, I don't think I've ever used one that can compare to the ratcheting action of this thing. The other thing is you just saw me take these two bits out to compare the ends. And you saw that on this Vera, you can pretty well pop it right out. And that's one thing I have had happen with the Vera, is leaving the bit in a driver, like in a, in a uh, screw. You'll have this going, you know, in a tight Phillips head, a Torx head especially, that kind of stuff. And then when you pull back your, your driver, you won't have the bit on it. I have not had that happen yet with the PB Swiss. If any, I, the PB Swiss magnet is, is ridiculous. Um... I, it's borderline, if you get stuff on your fingers or something and you're slippery at all, sometimes it's hard to actually pop that out of there. So if you're actually picking up something, you know, you can just pick a screw up right here on the PB Swiss. And I mean, it's, it's solid. It'll hold that screw any way you want to hold it, just like that. And I'm, I mean, 
Vera will too, but where this comes in is when you go to try to pull this off, the magnetic force is, it's not the same. I, there's just no other way to put it. It's not the same. But they both work very well on that. Now, the bit storage on these, on the Vera, you pop it here, push the button here on the top, and it says press right on it. And inside, you have a little carousel of bits right here. I'm going to show you guys that. You have a little carousel of bits there. And you can, you can load whatever you want in here. They are literally standard bits. So if you get your little bit of thanks deals from KC Tool, and you need to replace your Phillips in here, because that gets the most wear, it seems like, here in the U.S., then you just keep popping those new Philo number twos in here, and you're all set. You'll probably never have to buy one. But you can rig out your own set of bits in here, but it will come with a full set of six here and not one in the tip. It'll just have six here. But I usually keep either a Phillips or a flat in the tip on mine because that's generally what you're pulling it out to use. And that action works fine. So you have six here, one here. So technically you can carry seven bits with this driver. The, the PB Swiss though, has a totally different action. You don't have a button on the top. You can see all your bits right here through the side though. You press right here, pop it up, and this drops open. When this drops open, you can see how many bits you get right in here. And these are all PB Swiss bits that come, it comes with a full set in here, and these are the ones that it comes with. Um, and I don't know if you can get different ones in there from the factory or not, but the set that's in here, you know, you have a couple of posies, you got Phillips 2, two flatheads, four Torx, and one Allen. Two Allen sizes. So there are 10 bits just here, plus your tip bit. So you have e the ability to have 11 bits on this set without needing any extra tool check or bit check or anything to go with it. So with these two compared bit-wise, you can get four more bits on this than you can on this one without needing any extra stuff to go with you. So, I mean, right away for me in my pocket, having even a few extra options with me, you know, the, especially the little Allens uh, for certain faucets and things, it's nice to just have them in there. And Torx, you need your T15, 20, and 25 on board if possible. You need your Phillips. I don't. I do need the Posi 2 quite a bit now, though. A lot of locks at the hotels have the Posi 2. But so this one, four extra bits, a lot stronger feeling mechanism here for the ratchet, and a lot stronger magnet here. I mean, it's it's an impressive magnet. So for me. I, I had told myself I'm going to use this for a few weeks and make up my mind about whether I'm going back to the Vera Ratchet. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to stick with the PB Swiss. I, I just, it does not, it does not compare. Now, here's the other thing that does not compare. <laughs> the price, as you might imagine. The PB Swiss is... is top of the line. You, you're not going to get much better than this. I don't know of anything that is better than this. So if you're the kind of person, and if you're here on this channel, you probably are, that really wants to put the tool in your pocket that is a buy it for life kind of a tool. These are lifetime warranty also. Uh, if that's what you want, and that's the most important thing to you is the best experience, the best tight tolerances, the best warranties, the best construction, everything. I, the best of the best is PB Swiss for these drivers. And they make this in a shorter version too. You can get one that ends, you know, right here if you just want the normal size. But it's only a few dollars more to have that. So I like the reach. But anyway, this one uh, at probably around half the price. There will be links in the description below to both of these. And you can compare yourself on the prices. They're subject to change. You know, it's 2021, 2022. You know how this is going. So this is roughly a half the price screwdriver probably as the PB Swiss here in the U.S. anyway. Now, if you're wondering where I'm getting all these from, the Vera, I usually order all this stuff from KC Tool. There'll be a link to them down below. I do add Amazon links for you if you want to use those for your convenience, but uh, KC Tool is an awesome place to get all your Vera stuff. They just 
they stock everything way more than anywhere else does way better organized and it's a huge trap when you get on kc tool you're very likely to buy way more than you planned on buying because there's just too much cool stuff but anyway I'll have all those links down there for you. The PB Swiss, though, comes from an awesome little company called ToolLady.com, and I'll have a link to them down below as well. And hopefully, eventually, we'll be working with them a little bit here with the channel. Uh, they've been extremely nice with everything that I've ordered. Just very helpful people. Jump over to their page and check out all the stuff PB Swiss makes. I have a bunch of stuff I'm waiting on getting here from Sweden through them, or Switzerland through them. This is 100% Swiss made. They're all made in one little factory, all this stuff. I mean, it's it's almost like a oh, very high-end niche tool company. that They do a lot of medical supplies, things like that, so their quality is just at another level. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys these two. I'm going to keep these Veras around. They're going to go, you know, here in the shop, as well as, you know, job site screwdrivers for the helpers, everybody else. I have several of these and love them. But... For my personal enjoyment and everyday fun, this is going to be my driver going forward. I, I don't see any other way out. I'm going to go ahead and order some of their bit boxes and that stuff from Tool Lady and get set up with them. But go check them out and go look at all the cool stuff they make. It's, it's kind of neat. But thank you all for being here, checking out some awesome drivers with me. They both are.